Cambrell, thank you for that. Elizabeth Cook is known as a sharp and surprising country singer, making, get this, hundreds of appearances at the Grand Ole Opry. She has released six studio albums and was one of David Letterman's favorite guests, and they still are friends today. Now she's a guest on our little show. Please welcome Nashville-based singer and songwriter, Elizabeth Cook. Welcome to Houston Life. <laughs> hey, it's good to be here. Uh, you have such an incredible story. And by the way, also um, Sirius XM Radio Country. Yep. Uh, Outlaw Country. Outlaw Country. Outlaw Country. Oh, I just had a I fangirl <laughs> on you. I just had a mind break. But I mean, we were just chatting in the makeup room earlier, and you're still you still hear from David Letterman. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, he 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 texts like yeah. He'll text me and hit me up. He called me. I was in L.A. And he called me to check in, and yeah, we keep in touch. We're that is fun. so awesome. It's crazy. Well, he listens to the radio show right. on Sirius XM, so that's how he first ever heard about me. And and when he called it. you, or when they found it, like, hey, come on to the David Letterman show. Were you like, uh, what? yes? <laughs> I lost my mom. I was like, what is happening? I thought maybe I was being punked. Right. I didn't understand it um, because he wanted to do like a couch interview, and I'm, you know, a musician and right. made records, and so I was like, he, but they want to talk. I was like, what does he want to talk about? And <laughs> yeah. why is this happening? And uh, yeah, he just he had me on, and and um, he just wanted to shoot the breeze and, well, and talk about my life and my records and career and and the radio show, and it was it was insane. The first time I met him was. In, on TV in really? front of millions of people. Oh my gosh. I, no prep. I was completely A little bit out. of pressure. But it doesn't yeah. surprise us though because you were so talented and you have such a great personality. We were looking at some videos of you online earlier. Courtney was laughing and oh laughing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does it feel like work to you at this point of your career? I mean, I'm just kind of going throughout my day in like my pajamas with fringe on. Like I don't really <laughs> think of, of like, no. I mean, the work part's probably the travel. Right. Um, but, you know, talking to people, hanging out, making music, playing you're, shows. You're, you're like, living that's the dream. All, that's all, like, pretty easy, you know, right. that part. Hillbilly singer your mom was, and your dad yes. was in jail for, what, making <laughs> Prison. moonshine? Yes. Prison. Yeah, Atlanta Federal. Well, he served two, two threes and a five he was sentenced. He served eight. Um, he's, he was with an organized crime ring. So oh, wow. It with was, the moonshine. It was a long time ago with yeah. the moonshine. It was a problem. Uh, he was a repeat offender. Uh, he said that they finally convinced him was against the law to make moonshine. Right. So and he, in he finally quit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But he was in a prison band. He was in the band in prison. Yeah. He was. Uh, he played upright bass, and he was like the band leader. And he said it was really hard to have a band in prison because, like, some people would get in trouble, and then they couldn't go outside and so do the you, shows. And he's you lose like, an you instrument. Just keep a consistent a consistent crew in the band. What That's an incredible so family story you have, and I'm sure all of those ups and downs with your family, that helped shape your career. We do want to let our viewers know that tonight you will be at McGonagall's Mucky Duck. Yes. First performance is 7 p.m., yes. second show at 9.30. Yes. And if people want to get tickets, uh, they can find tickets online and uh, go and check out Elizabeth Cook because not only is she loaded with talent, but a ton of personality. And as she just said herself, she loves to wear pajamas with fringe. <laughs> and they look great, Elizabeth. So uh, why don't you take it away with Straight Jacket Love? Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks. We on here? Yeah, there we go. This is a song off my last record called Exodus of Venus. This is Straight Jacket Love. When Paul rolls in. 